Ahoy hoy, and welcome to... I'm not sure what I want to call this. I'll think about it over the day. But I have an idea for a new segment, which I've kind of been doing off and on without it being a named segment. But see, the SCP Wiki, a lot of stuff goes on on the SCP Wiki in the administrative section of it. There's an O5 forum for the administrators, the moderators, and operational staff. And junior staff, actually. Uh, but they all make these decisions and these big changes come to the wiki. And a lot of people know about it, but I'd say that the vast majority of people don't. So I thought I would actually have a running series where I kind of, anytime there's unimportant change or maybe even a collection of minor changes that are worth making a post about, or I should say a video about, uh, that I would just do that. So... Today, we're going to talk about several changes to the SCP Wiki. We'll start with the most minor ones, and then we'll move up to the other ones, and also cover possibly some of the background behind it. So we have, I think the least important change is essentially the changing uh, of certain guides to essays. So um, on the SCP website, a guide is sort of a staff-sanctioned informational page, whereas an essay is just like advice from, say, a, a particularly well-known writer or just someone who's an expert in a particular field, um, like technical words or um, I'm trying to think of something else, like how to use black boxes correctly. In this case, they're actually going to change the technical words, quote-unquote, guide, mobile task forces guide, and personnel and character dossier guides to essays. Yeah, they're going to change them into essays. And, uh, yeah, that's it's a... Not a huge deal, but it is a little different than what people are expecting. It's going to change nothing serious, but people who's got their characters on, say, the personnel and character dossier page are now going to be like, oh, you know, <laughs> it's no longer a guide. It's just an essay, just an opinion. On top of that, uh, they're also, this is something that the, there's a, a team dedicated to this sort of thing. And the other half of that is that they're rewriting the Frequently Asked Questions page. Now, the changes they're making are mostly pretty minor and focused mostly on the, uh, like, just an updated thing talking about, like, the green lighting process. Though, again, uh, there's, the, the wording could be better. In fact, I think I remember reading in the new version of it, there's actually a misspelling that I uh, noted the word successful in the, what is it, third, the second paragraph of the response to I wrote an SCP, they just misspelled successful. I'm sure they'll fix that before it gets posted, right? Uh, but yeah, it talks about the green light process, which is fairly new. Uh, I think they could do, it does say like, yes, of course, please show it to reviewers before posting. The, the question is, I wrote an SCP, do you want to see it? Uh, show it to reviewers before posting, although you don't have to. And then the second paragraph <laughs> talks about how to get feedback, but the way it's written, it still feels to me like it's like a directive, like you have to get feedback. I, I The problem is that the people who are going to make that mistake by reading this and thinking that it means that they have to get feedback are generally the kind of people who probably really need to get feedback. So is that the uh, but it's it's whatever anyway the frequently asked questions getting rewrite um they are modifying the adult content warning policy this is something we covered a while back so the scp wiki is also raising its it's it's raising the age of uh the membership the minimum age for membership um and part of that was also that uh there's content on the scp wiki that is not for children it's not for people under the age of 18 really i mean how mature you think you are it doesn't really matter the important part is that the adults in the room are at least taking precautions if you, if you get around them i mean it's the internet there's it's like a fucking uh a colander or <laughs> or a strainer like trying to hold water in it you're never going to succeed but you have to make the effort because if you don't make the effort then it's wholly on you uh, but there's adult content on the scp wiki and regardless of how you feel about that uh they've instituted an adult warning policy this is something that goes back a while uh, the problem was is that the adult warning policy precluded you from being able to read anything 
if it if you were not a site member. Now, I don't necessarily disagree with this. Uh, it is an additional uh, barrier to entry for the SCP Wiki. The only problem, of course, is that the <laughs> the SCP Wiki is astonishingly and notoriously hard to join, even if you meet the requirements and are of the proper age requirements. And in addition, I think the SCP Wiki's staff in general did not consider the fact that maybe... I mean, it says on here, I'll, I'll use their wording, because it's, it's something that I've known for a while, but apparently some of these people did not quite get. Um, yeah, yeah, the traffic that the website gets from non-members is so overwhelming that the traffic you get from members is essentially negligible, statistically insignificant. The majority of SCP Wiki traffic comes from non-members, so... What you're doing by uh, forcing people to join the SCP Wiki in that case is, and saying that if you don't, you can't read it, is making it so that any adult content, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but you make it so that adult content is generally not read because it can't be read by 99.99% .99 of the people who are part of the SCP Wiki. The other half of this problem, by the way, is, is the, because... The way, okay. So let let me let me let me let me just make this uh, let me make this clear. SCP Wiki staff, the current ways that they have to approve uh, approve applications is essentially unsustainable. Uh, but they're sustaining it anyway. <laughs> Anytime there's like a big rush to join the SCP Wiki, which this incentivizes, by the way having a policy where you have to join the wiki to read everything incentivizes joining the wiki right anytime you have that as a problem you are creating a ton of work for the scp wiki staff because individually there are you have there's a person that has to go in and approve applications every day every week etc so and they don't want that which is kind of counterintuitive, but I totally understand it because the system they have set up is both difficult to manage and also has to be. <laughs> They've set up a system where they're kind of screwed anytime there's a spike in applications because they just don't have the manpower to deal with it. Uh, the only people who can approve it are administrators and administrators on the SAP wiki are we'll call them rare not super rare because there's like so many people that are administrators at any given time um but it's it's sort of rare and not all of and most of them in general are not super active that's the thing once people become administrators they tend their activity levels tend to go down there's like you'll usually see like three or four administrators doing most of the work on a given day and for a website with millions of people viewing it on a day-to-day -day basis on a day-to-day -day basis but maybe on a monthly basis i'm not sure what the total traffic is it's a lot though but with millions of people viewing it period three or four people capable of accepting applications is sort of a problem that's why it's unsustainable in general <laughs> but to try and alleviate the possibility of people joining the website just so they can read adult content on the website, which is in, of, in and of itself is its own sort of uh, problem. Uh, they're just going to try and make it so you can click through. You can say, hey, I am old enough and click through without having to actually be a site member. I have a lot of... <laughs> I have a lot of opinions on, on the way this policy is implemented, and it's especially on the way the SCP Wiki handles joining, but it is what it is. All right, what's the uh, other ones here? Right, yes. Okay, so they have instituted a new policy, which there was a problem. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain what the problem was in a second, because this is something that's been communicated to me uh, by another individual who I will not name. <laughs> But essentially this, un, I'll tell you who in a second, a banned user messaged an active user who then contacted SCP staff to request an edit on behalf of the banned user. And because of the way the policy is written, that was not explicitly disallowed. Now, 
the way the policies are written for about how banned users, banned users can't post new content, but the current rule set, which I think this passed already. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think, yeah, the, the it's actually passed already. So this is current. This is now talking about old rules versus what is currently uh, in place. But the old rules said that you could request edits of your page if you were banned from the wiki. Right now, it's always been true that you can request for your works to be deleted, as long as they're not co-authored, because you'd have to get approval from both authors for that. But <laughs> the SCP wiki realized this was a loophole. Not really a loophole. That's not technically what that is, because they're not you're not getting around any rules. You're just following the rules. The SCP wiki is really weird about that. Anytime anyone follows the rules to the letter, they feel as though they have to change the rules. If if it if it produces a, if following the rules to the letter produces a result that the SCP wiki staff do not like, not necessarily as bad or good or whatever, but do not like, they'll change the rules to fix it. Uh, which is fine. You know, you do what you do, you do what you want to do. You get to play the game the way you want to play the game. Um, in this particular case, um, Max Landis is the, believe it or not, is the impetus for this. So he wrote the forensic, I believe it's the forensic ghost of Tupac Shakur. It's been a really long time since I read it, but I believe that's the name of the article. The important part is, is he wanted some edits made to it, and uh, uh, an extant user requested those. And I'm not going to name them because I don't want any. I don't want any of this to be like a drama thing because it's not a drama thing. Let me be clear, not yet anyway. <laughs> but uh, so asked an extant user, you know, hey, this is you know, I didn't know this was a thing, and, and I don't even know if they asked this explicitly, but the extant user was like talking with them about some you know other stuff, and that came up. And it was like, hey, can I get an edit made to this page? Or, hey, this person was talking about edits, and then I'm kind of curious, just independently. I didn't. I'm not going to go into too much detail as the background for it because I don't know all the background to it. The important parts, of course, are that the SCP Wiki staff um, clutched their pearls immediately and were like, oh my god, Max Landis wants to edit his article. We have to change the rules now. And what's really funny? Hold on, let's see if we can find it in here. In the discussion page, let's see if we can find it here. So they're talking about whether it's going to be retroactive because they're like, oh, what are we going to do about the currently outstanding request? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here's the here's the caveat that they managed to make it work. So there was an outstanding request when this was done. In my opinion, as there is a pending discussion on the matter, any decision relating to a request from a ban user would need to be delayed in order to prevent specific bias before a vote by staff could occur. So the idea is, oh shit, we didn't think about this. Let's put all of these requests, any requests we receive, which they only had one, there was only one ever, really. <laughs> Let's put the, any re all of these many requests we have on hold... <laughs> until we get a vote about changing the rules so that we don't have to worry about retroactive application of it. <laughs> so that happened. Uh, and yeah, I think those are the four major issues, right? Or not major issues, but major changes right now. I'm going to, moving forward, keep a better eye on the O5 command forums. And you can count on me to just, in general, give you updates when a major change comes across the board. Or even, as I said, minor changes that really affect things. I think the most major change out of this whole set, honest to God, is the uh, the policy for the adult content. Because that was affecting you know, the full user base, almost. Um, the other stuff is sort of very niche um, just like, hey, let's update the frequently asked questions or, hey, let's change some gu uh, guides to essays because they're not really they're more opinion than fact. Or, hey, let's make a rule specifically for one guy <laughs> and pretend that it's for the whole wiki. <laughs> well, I mean, it is technically for the whole wiki now, but pretend like there's a, a overarching serious problem when it's really just one dude. Anyway, <laughs> it's a very common occurrence. They, they they tend to overreact to little little problems like, oh, we have to stop this from ever becoming a serious problem again. Mainly it's just uh, this is the way the SCP Wiki operates. You have to learn to deal with it. Or li you have to learn to live with it or die trying. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit that subscribe button. And then... Hit the notification bell so you're upload updated when I upload new videos. I'm going to get these phrasings right eventually. And I'm talking to you, Carl. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Why do I have to keep saying this to you? 
then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjuriki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.